Hey guys, I am going to do my last, or like my second, pre-Disney haul for this trip. Went into this trip saying, I'm not gonna buy any clothes, we're not gonna do matchy-matchy, blah, blah, blah. Famous last words, because I ended up buying some stuff and um, made us some matching outfits, and now we're going matchy-matchy. So, the only thing you won't see in this video are the Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party shirts that we got, but by this point, yeah, check on my Instagram and you'll be able to see what we got for that. So first and foremost, we ordered this hat. Oh, my Mickey pin, that's mine. Uh, we ordered this hat from Disney Shopping App, Disney Parks App. I'll try to remember to write down what it actually is. But I bought this for Aubrey when they were offering 25% off, 20% off, something like that. I was gonna make, get it for the kids anyways, and then I figured each day, yeah. I figured each day that we celebrate their birthdays, I will um, let them all wear this. So on Aubrey's actual birthday, she's gonna wear this. The following day, we're not celebrating anyone's birthday because they're gonna be at the uh, Halloween party, and then the next few days will be uh, Casey and uh, Aubrey's turn to wear it. So it's uh, Ellie's turn to wear it. So it's just, you know, Mickey ears. I have a bun on, so it's not gonna go on my head. But it's just, you know, they go on the, their head or whatever. And then um, I had my agent send me uh, a pin for Aubrey, and that's how we told her that, you know, she was going to Disney. So I have one, but I'm gonna get one for all of them. I think I showed my magic bands in our last trip. Um, I have all of the kids. Sorry, this is like the bag I gave Aubrey of stuff. So I got my Disney vacation account bonus. I ended up getting um, $100. So this is our tip money. And then the three kids with birthdays, which is Casey, Aubrey and Ellie all have $100 on their gift card and Trevor has 50 because we're going back for his birthday. And then we got our Halloween party tickets. And then, for that bag. Uh, I went ahead and ordered a Mo Power power bank and now I kind of regret it. I kind of wish I would have gotten the ones that Disney's come out with, like the Fuse, Fuse something. It's like basically a recharger that a recharger a charger that you can like dump into their little stations or whatever and then it gives you a new one so i bought a cheap charger for trevor and then i have this for like minor jeff's and then we do have one other one so as long as those work we're obviously just gonna keep these um but i use one every single day and sometimes my husband ends up needing it but it's just this little stick and you charge it up at night and then you have this fully charged to charge your phone when you're out and about in the park. So grab that one because they didn't have the one that I had before. I went ahead and grabbed this little banner. It says birthday princess for Aubrey where it is her actual birthday. I do want to kind of like go big or go home with her and let everybody know uh, that it is her birthday. Uh, the next thing I bought were these ears. These are from Unique Ears by Ely, I-L-L-I-I. -I. I'll make sure to link her shop below. So she hand attached the sequins to here. And I saw these ears and I was like, holy crap, I like those. And I am not an ear person. I actually have never worn ears at the park. I've always looked at them, I've always tried them on, and then I never end up buying them. So I saw these and I was like, I really, really like them. And then she said the back, so they're reversible. So you just move the bow like that. So you can have them like these. Sorry, I'm like really close to the camera. You can have them like that, which is cute. Or you can switch them around and have them like that. And it's just so pretty and I cannot wait to have these and I'm actually talking to her right now to see if she can get me another pair that she just posted get them here by time uh, we leave so the next thing are from unique nope are from we love Disney on Etsy again I will try to make sure to remember to link them 
but they are iron on embroidery patches this is not my first order from her i think her patches are amazing they hold up great if they do start to lift you just put the iron on it and it comes it you know uh reattaches real quick so the first one we got is chip and this is going to be for casey the girls both have bell shirts this day and then we got the beast one and then me and my husband have them and i just figured trevor can have the beast because it's bigger and then casey can have chip and then i got this to match a shirt that i have that we're not wearing this trip but i just ordered it then because she was having like free shipping or something and then the girls so the boys have the buzz and woody shirts that i showed in my last pre-disney haul and uh, the girls are going to wear these uh, so it's Woody and Buzz Zoom Zooms. And then um, we all have some Buzz and Woody, our Toy Story themed shirts um, for this trip as well. And then um, I got this little headband. I have one of these and um, it kind of bothered my head because it was a headband and it would bother my head right here and I would get headaches so I figured I'm gonna try this one because I really do like it and my hair is really short right now it's like almost too short to do anything with so I hate it so I figured get that and I might you know like it a little bit better I got this little headband just to have in case again I just I hate my hair right now I got a clinical strength deodorant in the white kind I love clinical strength deodorant now it's just too hot to not have it so um, I always tend to have it on hand. I also got Trevor some flip-flops because our dog chewed up his flip-flops, unfortunately. So these were on sale. They were $2.98. So I went ahead and grabbed him some just to be able to, like, run to the pool or the food court or whatever. And then I got two of the Cat and Jack brand just white t-shirts for me to put the patches on the boys' shirts. These are a little bit more expensive than, you know, the cheap ones, but I like uh having like a just better quality shirt because we tend to wear them a lot and especially now that we're going i did get another headband just a pretty headband um i'll probably like straighten my hair one day and then dry shampoo it and then i'll end up wearing it curly with like headbands the rest of the time and then it'll end up throwing up who's who am i kidding so then i have i bought this first aid instrument kit because i wanted like scissors for my mole skin and stuff like that and then I ended up just putting everything I needed in this. So it does have the scissors. It has some tweezers in case you get a, you know, splinter or whatever. And then a flashlight, which we don't really need, but whatever. I got some afterbite in case they get bites. We actually don't tend to really get bitten by bugs, but I want to have this on hand just in case. I got some, I think this is the allergy one, some allergy medicine. And then I got some um, Tylenol type medicine. And then I got some like coughing cold, like stuff that you put in the drink. Uh, I'm just trying to be prepared on like last few trips. I did get some butterfly band-aids. I have some regular band-aids and I have some of the like wet uh, waterproof band-aids. We were actually at the pool last trip and Casey just bit it hard and was like bleeding everywhere and I didn't even think to have my first aid kit with me because we were at the pool and this mom was like oh don't worry about it here's some band-aids right here and after I saw how well that they um stayed on like in the pool and everything and just sweating at Disney I was like yeah those are gonna be mine so this is gonna just go like in my husband's backpack that we'll have on us uh at all times and then because I bought a bunch of stuff, we also got this one for free. So this one will stay in our room. And this has like the rest of the meds down here. And I'm going to put some adult meds in here. Um, and then this has like the extra band-aids and stuff. I'm also going to put some Neosporin and stuff like that in here as well uh, to have on hand. The only thing I would like in here is some like Neosporin and antiseptic cream, which I'm just going to put in a plastic baggie and throw it in there. Um, we ended up getting this shirt online from my husband. It says Disney Life Happy Wife. Uh, shout out to my friend Jillian. She has just started a YouTube channel. She is a Disney lover like we are. She um, is starting to do vlogs and stuff. So I'll definitely make sure to link her channel down below so you can check her out because she um, is just awesome. She's like a real life friend. Uh, the next shirt I got is from Torrid. I got it in a two, which 
I thought would be my size, but apparently it's not. Apparently I should be a one, but I don't mind shirts being baggy on me, but this one says to infinity and beyond, and it has Buzz Lightyear. So when all my kids wear their Buzz and Woody shirts, um, I'll have those, and then I am going to, I actually just purchased another pair of ears, and then I ironically just purchased these Buzz Lightyear ears. These won't come until like the day that we leave. Um, so I'll have those ears to wear the day that um, we go, or I wear that, you know, those things or whatever. And then I got these shirts for my boys. These were from Target, and I think they're like $7.99 or something like that, and then I got them 20% off, so they're little like football Mickeys. So I got that, and... That one for Casey, too. And then we really didn't need much uh, travel-wise. So I got these toothbrushes for the kids, but I needed like the little travel toothpaste. So I have an extra toothbrush too. And then I got some toothbrushes for my husband and I. I got a toothpaste for the big kids and my husband and I. And then the last few things I got are all Beauty and the Beast stuff. So I placed an order for some Beauty and the Beast stuff and I have a bell shirt, but it's washing right now. I've worn it in a few videos, so you've probably seen it. Um, and then I ordered two Tsum Tsum, or not two Tsum Tsum, yeah, two Tsum Tsum Beauty and the Beast shirts, but they haven't come yet and there's like no tracking and so Disney's trying to figure out what's going on with it. Um, so I don't know when those are coming in, if they're coming in, what the situation is, but I wanted to, to show you guys this. So I figured I would just show them in this video. Oh, and I also got a mouthwash. So I ordered the complete Beauty and the Beast Tsum Tsum set. So I have, um, oh my God, what is his name? What is it? Oh, Cogsworth? Cogsworth? No. What is that? The dog? No. The horse, the Maximus. Horse. No, what no, is it? No, Maximus is tangled. I hear her Max. voice right now saying easy something. This is gonna come to me and if not, I'm gonna look it up. I have Mrs. Potts and she's super cute. She's got her little spout. She has her handle. Uh, she has her lid. She's really, really cute. I have Chip and he has his little uh, handle for here. He has his chip right there. Really, I'm really cute. Show you. Next up, I have Gaston. And I think he's my favorite. Sorry if you hear Ellie freaking out. She's yelling at Casey. Look at his little bun. Up he just looks like the most like him. Philippe. That's who it is. Philippe, her horse. <laughs> <It's> <laughs> I knew Philippe. it would come to me. Um, we have Lumiere, which I feel like they could have done a better job with Lumiere. I don't really love him, and he's one of my favorite characters, but... Yeah, I'm not it. One of my favorites was Cogsworth. I think they did a really good job with him. Uh, my favorite part of Cogsworth is how they have his little like turn thing for his cloth part. And then down here you can see his um, pendulum or whatever. Next up I have her father. Just a sweet, sweet little man that he is. And then I have Belle, who is just my favorite. I love the way they did her. I think she came out really, really well with her bun on the top of her head and then her hair down, her pretty ball gown dress. They just definitely paid attention to detail with her, but I think it's easier for them to do like people than it is to do animals. And then we have the beast who, my God, is he not the cutest thing that you've ever seen? Like in his little jacket. Uh, he's definitely my favorite. I think that they did the best job with him. And then finally, I pre ordered the Disney DVD through them. I know it's a little bit more money, but I wanted these uh, lithographs or whatever they're called. So, uh, Beauty and the Beast is coming out in mid to late September. And when you order, you get all these lithographs for free. So, the first one is Belle in her library. Very, very pretty. 
And I remember when we were growing up, like, I mean, I've talked about it before. We grew up poor. We were, we were very, very poor. And um, my mom would always go and get us Disney DVDs. And she's not a Disney fan, but she would always go get us the Disney DVDs and get the lithographs that came with them. And then we would frame them. And it was like our one, like, kind of expensive thing that we had. And I just, I don't know why, but it always stands close to me. And then here's one with Gaston and LeFou. Which I'm not a huge Gaston fan, but whatever. And we may bring this to Disney and have him sign it. And if we could get, um, I may have Belle sign this one. Um, obviously I can't have Lumiere sign this one, but this is his little Be Our Guest scene, which I really, really like. I may frame this and put this in the house somewhere. And then we have uh, Beauty and the Beast dancing. And if we can get, um, if I can get into, uh, you know, Acre Shush, or she's, I actually don't think she's there anymore, but if I could get to Belle somehow, I would um, definitely have her sign one of these as well. So, um, yeah, that is my last pre-Disney haul. We didn't buy a ton this trip. I just didn't feel the need to shop a ton. Um, I did get some new clothes and I figured we could use them for all the trips. And I did get some Halloween shirts, which, um, you know, we could actually sell them or we could wear them for Halloween or whatever you know we'll see what we end up doing but today is Friday we leave on Wednesday so I haven't packed anything and I'm never like that so I definitely need to start packing and hopefully you'll have some Disney videos from me the next few weeks um, as we're prepping to go to Disney so thanks for watching and I'll see you guys soon